Happy Mother's Day to all of you. We're reading today from the book of Exodus, chapter 2, verses 1 through 10, and from the book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verses 25 through 30. Her children rise up and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women have done excellently, but you surpass them all. In the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 12, honor your father and your mother, that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. And Proverbs 6, verse 20. My son, keep your father's commandment and forsake not your mother's teaching. 2 Corinthians 1, 4. God, who comforts us in all our affliction so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction. Mother's Day should be a joyous occasion, but celebrating Mother's Day can trigger emotional pain for some. Divorce, the breakup of families generates a lot of emotional hurts. So while we celebrate and honor all mothers, be sensitive and caring. Christians should reach out to those who are emotionally sensitive about the topic of motherhood. 2 Corinthians 1.4 says, God who comforts us in all our affliction so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction. Moms come in all shapes and sizes and there is no best mom. There is no perfect mom nor is there a cookie cutter diagram of what a mother should be. A mother endures the good, the bad, and the ugly from her children and gives back hugs and kisses. She's the rock and the support throughout the good and bad times in your life. A mother might hold you in her arms while wiping away your tears. A mother might kiss your scrapes and bruises and make you smile. Mother might try and take all your pain and sorrow away and make them hers. A mother's role is virtually endless. She conceives, carries, develops, and then bears her offspring. A mother nurses and feeds, nurtures, protects, and cares for her child in a dedicated, selfless manner. She can be the biological, adoptive, stepmother or foster mother. She is a teacher, role model, disciplinarian, and friend. A mother often sacrifices her personal comfort, wants, and needs for the comfort, wants, and needs of her children. A mother works diligently to make sure her children are equipped with the necessary skills and abilities to succeed in their own lives. And of course, the greatest trait of a godly mother is her boundless love for her offspring. It, it seems no matter what her children say or do, a godly mother still loves them unconditionally, just like the love of God. All of us need and can benefit from such a love. A child should never feel as if they need to earn their mother's love if they do, it will leave a void in their heart all their life. A mother's unconditional love establishes trust and a firm foundation of emotional intimacy in a child's life. Children who receive unconditional love from their mother rarely settle for a mate who would offer them anything less. The time and attention a mother gives to her children in playing games, reading books, telling stories and listening, providing them with an emotional confidence and stability. If such love is withheld, a child will look for it in a million other ways. Sometimes they'll search throughout their lifetime trying to find some sort of peace with their past. The emotional foundation we give our children at home is foundational to their life. 
We cannot underestimate the value of the home and the power of a mother's love. One great Mother's Day story is about Moses' mother, Jochebed. It's found in the Old Testament book of Exodus, chapter 2. Jochebed was a daughter of Levi and the mother of Miriam, Aaron, and Moses. She was the wife of Amram, and not much further detail is given concerning her life, but according to Jewish legends, she is buried in the tomb of the matriarchs in Tiberias, Israel. She is honored and praised by Jews, Christians, and Muslims for her faith in God. The story of Jochebed is described in the book of Exodus. Jochebed, wife of Amram and mother of Moses, Aaron, and Miriam, is mentioned by name only in Exodus 6.20 and Numbers 26.59. Both are genealogical listings. Her name in Hebrew is Yachheved, which means Yahweh is glory. It's notable, and she is notable, as the first person in the Bible to have a name with the divine element Yah a shortened form of Yahweh. Jacobin lived in Egypt where the descendants of Israel were being oppressed. The Pharaoh had decreed that all Hebrew baby boys were to be thrown into the Nile because he feared that they might become too powerful. When Moses, her youngest child, was born, Jacobin hid him for three months, going against the decree of Pharaoh to kill all the Hebrew baby boys. Finally, to save her son's life, Jochebed waterproofed a basket, put the child in it. She must have known something about the bathing habits of Pharaoh's daughter or other likely Egyptians who might take compassion on a baby in a basket. Still, to put her son into the water took a lot of faith. God wonderfully rewarded her faith when the basket was noticed by Pharaoh's daughter who was bathing in the river. And moved with compassion when she discovered the child, she decided to adopt him. Then even better, the princess listened to Miriam's suggestion to find her a Hebrew woman to nurse the child. So Miriam called her mother, Jochebed, who was appointed to take care of him. Thus, Jochebed nursed her son until he was old enough and then brought him to the Pharaoh's daughter who adopted him as her son. The story continues with Moses who grew up to become the leader of the Exodus, leading his people out of the land of Egypt. What a great story. Because of a mother's love, the Israelites were given a leader to liberate them from slavery. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you today for the wonderful gift of mothers. They have given us life and the instructions on how to live it. They have demonstrated unconditional love in a way much like your own. Bless them as we honor them today. In Jesus' name, amen. I leave you with these points to ponder. How will you honor your mother this week? And how will you show or tell her how important she is to you?